Hi guys, today we're looking at the Hornby Class 66. This is uh, my first review for a, a while actually, and um, I've never done a freight engine before, so we'll give it a go. Picked this uh, engine up from Model Zone for about £40. Uh, it was in a sale, so I was quite lucky, in all honesty, to get it. Um, well, to be honest, £40 I'd say was the right price for this engine. I mean, it's DCC ready. It's got fairly good detail, not incredible. And it doesn't have directional lighting, which is a shame. Because the Backman 66 is so much better because of little things like the lights and sprung buffers and everything. Apart from that though, this, this engine is fantastic in terms of reliability and build quality. It's a very rugged model and it would be ideal for the younger sort of group like, you know, um, I, I think for an 8 year old this engine would be fantastic because for younger modellers things like freight and big strong engines that's what kind of interests them and this this is ideal really is I mean can't fault it I mean the one buffer has fallen off on that side but even that even they are pretty tough pretty tough things right let's have a look closer now camera doesn't pick it up very well it does have the sort of bog standard large couplers which is a shame on the detail to be honest if, if it had like smaller NEM couplings that would be nice from the front I'd say it looks quite good this is um, in the first GBRF livery I've actually never seen one in real life in this livery most of these seem in like EWS but it's nicely applied I like the colours of it actually I mean it goes well with like, other brightly coloured liveries like the Centro and the Virgin. Um, the roof is actually, I really like the roof on this. I think, I really like how this is, um, this sort of indent and the um, fan actually looks quite realistic on this one. Um, can't really see much in the interior. Not much to show. Um, bogies, fairly big, but I, don't, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't have much to complain about them actually. I think they're fairly good. And you got like, obviously a little ladder and the little stickers which I've put on, which I think is great. Um, that says Blue Lightning. Um, I believe it is exactly the same 66 of the Backman version of this one. Um, and that's about it. I mean, not much detailing, but like I said, it's a very rugged and very strong. That is, I think this is my strongest locomotive actually. But um, let's put it into action. Very smooth runner actually. And um, obviously because it's double ended it's um can run in either direction. I mean it looks great for like a modern image layout. You can't sort of fault the de detailing for that. I mean it does the job. Because the backman 66 is normally about 80 pounds, I think. Mm. Just ram it up to top speed. That's it, full speed on the controller. Very, very quick. Now, I do believe this engine does have pickups on all the um, 
wheels, which means it doesn't struggle over like points. So it's got a very nice running to it. I'll bring it to a very low speed now. I mean, for a DC locomotive to run that slow and smoothly is impressive. I not many can go that slow. I mean, the class 73 over there would struggle to go at this speed. Same in both directions. Right, I'm going to hook it up to a few um, freight wagons just to demonstrate it looking with its uh, proper rolling stock, as they call it. Now, all I've got here is. Um, I had these two wagons for a while. These are all just rail railroad um, wagons. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but you know it goes well with the engine, I think. that pulls up with ease. I mean I think I have pulled had this engine pull about like ten Mark III carriages before and no problem. I mean it's a really really good model. I mean besides the detailing and lack of lights you know, for the price for forty pounds, I think it's steel. Really, really do. I really, I recommend this to younger modelers. But I think it's a, it's a good for beginners. I think it's a very good model. Very smooth, extremely strong. And it does the job, and uh, that's that's all I can say about it. To be honest, I'd give it like a seven out of ten, maybe. So I, the only thing that lets it down for me is the lack of lights and detailing, because the Backman sixty six is just in so much better than this one. But forty pound can't fault it. Thanks for watching.